Okay. Uh, this is Vince uh, with Listing to Leads, and thanks for joining me today. Uh, this is the call for the Realty Executives crew from uh, Central Florida. But today we're going to focus on Facebook. So I know we had a call last week on some of the core tools, um, but there's a lot that is going on in real estate advertising right now uh, that's pretty exciting, and you have a lot of tools to take advantage of that, and that really is applying uh, Facebook pay-per-click advertising to your business strategy. So we're going to spend an hour talking about that. Um, you, If you have any questions at any time, just put it in the chat panel there for me, and I'll kind of take a break now and then, and we'll, we'll kind of jump into it. Just as a reminder, you all have IDs and passwords. Do not start a free trial over here. You don't need to do that because the office is picking this up. Use the login button at the top right, and that'll get you into your account. Okay. Now, I want to before I take you into the into how and why and stuff like that. I want to kind of give you an idea um, of of why you need to think uh, a little bit more about Facebook. I don't know if you're all on Facebook. What would really help me is. If in the chat panel, if you could put in there, if you've ever run an ad on Facebook, just say, yes, I have, maybe once, never. Uh, and, and that way I know kind of what, what who, who I'm speaking with here. But this I, is a website I just pulled up about five minutes ago, and it shows us the top websites in the United States. Um, and that's, you know, that's, that's pretty good to know that Facebook is number two. Now, Google is number one, and you can apply some of these strategies to, um, uh, to Google as well. But what we see is that the cost per click or, or the amount invested, you get a better return on Facebook. We really like the way um, you're able to target, and I'm going to show you that. Uh, and that's really the point. One other thing about Facebook that you should know is on average, people are spending 40 to 50 minutes a day there, okay? And that's an enormous amount of time. That may not be you, but a lot of time uh, people are scrolling through their phones. They'll be sitting on a call like this and listening to somebody yammer on in the background like me and just looking at Facebook and all the pictures of their friends and their dogs and the cats and all that stuff. And, and that is why this site is really, really powerful. A lot of news is there. A lot of friends and family stuff is there. Like I said, 40 minutes a day or more is, is being, it, it's being spent. 71% of adults, not teenagers, are on Facebook in the United States. So when you're thinking about building your business, growing your business, building your brand, there's all kinds of ways that you can do that, right? There there are companies out there, I don't know, like Zillow and Trulia, and, and you've got phone books for some of you that have been in this for a while, and people have bought, you know, signs on uh, on bus stops and, and buses and all kinds of ways to get your brand, as you the realtor, in front of your market. But I, you probably didn't know that Facebook has 71% of adults there. So it's a good place to think like, wow, if they're there, how am I going to be there? How am I going to let people know that I am a realtor, right? Um, and so that's really the key. And so this, I, I'm logged into the account right now, and this is actually what your dashboard looks like. So there's two key things. Well, I'm going to click into some of these tools in a little bit, but I want you to understand if you have not heard already, many people get very excited about putting property valuation pages on Facebook and driving it right to their town, right? And that is an awesome thing to do. It is, it is no question, it's awesome. And there are a handful of companies that have that kind of technology and we're one of them, okay? So I'll show you what that property valuation page looks like. I'll show you how to customize it and, and then you know show you how it works and show you how to actually run an ad. So we're gonna go through all that today. And like I said, there's a handful of companies out there that do that kind of stuff, bold, prime seller, home value, Heck, Boomtown sells it for 250 bucks a month for a page like that. And they're just, you know, more and more. Just the list keeps going. Curator. But what most of these companies do is they give you a property valuation page and they say, hey, you go take it or you go put it out there. Or we'll charge you a couple hundred bucks just to do it for you. And you might get 10 leads, right? And you might get 12. And those leads may do something for you or they may not. 
And I hear a lot of feedback on that, so that I don't really want to comment on that. But what nobody tells you is like, hey, you actually get more results, better leads, better lead quality, and more leads if you, at the same time of copying and pasting that kind of link out there and putting on Facebook, that you build your brand, right? And last week we talked about your core tools that are in your dashboard. And a couple of these tools are just great to build that brand, okay? To let people know, I've got a home that's just listed. I've got a home that's under contract, that has an open house, that just closed. This is something you definitely want to be doing, right? Let people know that you've closed on, on home sales. And the you can I, I, you already many of you already know to do this in your farm market in a print format, right? I'm going to send out a just listed or a just sold postcard. I'm going to send a letter, you know, and, and offering information to my local market. But when you incorporate these kinds of tools, our, our online landing pages, they get really helpful. But what you're not doing is thinking, hey, if 71% of my market is on Facebook maybe I also need to put some of that same advertising right there. And I want to point out two tools to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about how to build brand on Facebook. The second thing we're going to do is how do we get a property valuation page so I can get more listing leads on Facebook, okay? And while you kind of want to think of that, that second piece first, you get better results with better lead quality, more information, if you build your brand either at a parallel time or earlier and you'll see because if you're brand new to this what typically happens is you, you you'll you'll throw out there you'll put a property valuation landing page out there you'll follow these instructions and you'll get some leads and you'll be excited and that's awesome and then you'll go oh you know i'm going to do that other thing that vince said and we're going to put where i'm going to market that i've got an open house i've got just sold and if you continue to do that for a couple months and you continue to run property valuation ads you are going to get more leads. The market starts to recognize that you are there. And the thing, what I'm teaching you and, and our clients, we have clients across the country doing this, they all come back and say, you know what? I am now getting calls out of the blue from people on Facebook because they just say, I see you all over Facebook and I want to sell my home. And that's where you want to be, right? Lead generation is cool and dripping on leads is cool and, and all that. But boy, somebody calling you out of the blue saying, hey, I need you to help me is really, I think, where you want to be. So let's talk about building brand. It's very easy. You have two tools that I want you to concentrate on when building brand. One is a single property website and you get there by clicking the red button with the White House on it. And we'll pop this up, right? It's got your branding. And you notice up here on the right, it says just listed. So you can actually control just listed by clicking edit and, and changing the status. All right, so I'm gonna click there. And you could have it as coming soon if you put it in early, right? If you're allowed to do that with your MLS, that is super smart to, to just get it out there for three or four days as coming soon, right? Um, under contract, pending, and of course, just sold. You can change that status right here on the edit page and that status will flow through in this little red box right here. So there is lead capture. The, the, the nice thing about this is there's a lot going on, right? Obviously there's stuff all about the house, the photos and description and all those normal things. Your logo's there, you, your contact information's there, but not everybody wants to call you. Even though you've got your phone number all over all your advertising, people don't want to call you, right? What they do want to do, though, if they're looking here, is they probably want to look at more homes. So they can click here and go bang right to your website and start looking at more homes for sale in Orlando, right? Or you could say, hey, I want them just to look at homes for three to 400 in Orlando. And you can sort of do that. That's sort of the core stuff, right? But this, also they can click on follow this home. And there's a very simple lead capture form. If they want to schedule a showing, this is right there. So that's kind of the basic stuff of how you capture a lead uh, with our single property website. So this looks good. It's mobile optimized, so it works on a smartphone. And this is a great tool to get up on Facebook, okay? Now, for the same listing, you have also over here to the right, you'll kind of think you need to click on Facebook, but click to the right, there's something that says a listing landing page. 
and every property has both, okay? This is a really good looking tool. It's a big picture of the home and it says, hey, uh, you know, if you want more information, fill this out. When somebody fills this out, they get dropped right on the single property website, okay? But when they fill it out, you get the contact information. So this can be a really nice looking tool to put up on Facebook. So let's put this one on Facebook. All right, let's do it right now. And I just want to remember, I want to remind you, the single property website and the listing landing pages are the best ones to do. Before we go over there to Facebook and run this first ad, I want to point out that David is the showing agent. So he's going to be doing an open house on this listing, right? I guess because he it says it's a showing agent. So even if it's not his listing, he can still build his brand by saying, hey, you know what? I've now got this listing in my uh, account and I can run an ad on Facebook and find more buyers, right? And if they don't like this house, if they want this house, well, I can have, they'll click follow this home, but they could also just click on Orlando Homes for Sale or Winter Gardens or things like that. So again, great tool to get out there, uh, even if you're the showing agent, just to get your name out there. Because remember, and I'm gonna show you what exactly what this looks like, there is, um, there's the whole branding concept. There's a whole branding uh, kind of possibility here. So we're going to take this one. Uh, I think it is this one, not here, just listed. And we're going to run an ad on Facebook right now. Okay. So if you have done it, you may have been boosting a little bit. Facebook has ch just changed again last week. So it's really important that you kind of follow what's happening here. Copy the URL. First thing, copy the URL on top. Right click copy, go over in this page on the top of Facebook is a little triangle pointing down. I don't know if you can see it, but when you click it, it's a menu and go to create ads. Now when you click create ads, it kind of goes through this little thing here and then it pops up. I got this little message here. You won't get this. I have an ad blocker on my, on my uh, browser, so I don't have to look at ads. But what you want to do is send people to your website. All right. It gives you a few options and that's the one you want to do. And then it says, okay, what's the campaign name? I'm going to say, and you don't need to do this, but after a while you'll get to this place where you have many ads and it's going to just help you. If you know, like this is Windermere, uh, just listed right in, uh, I don't know. I'm going to put June, right? You might want to put a date on it and then click continue. You're just naming it. It's not that other people are going to see it. It's that you see it. Okay. And right here in this section, we're going to set the audience. This is the most powerful thing. And the reason it's so powerful uh, in, is Facebook allows you to target by city or zip code. So this time, let's remember, we're going to run two kinds of ads. This is a branding ad. We want to get buyer leads, but we also want thousands of people to start knowing that we're a realtor. Okay. So by default, it says everyone in this location, which is the United States. That's really too wide. I'm going to type in here, Windermere, Florida. And I click that blue line and you see how it puts a little map here and a circle. It by default says, Windermere, Florida plus 25 miles. Now, I don't really know Windermere, you know, I, I've been to Orlando, uh, but I don't know Windermere. So I'm going to just say, I want to change this. Usually I tell people drop that radius to 10 miles. Okay. Now you might actually 25 might be good because you might actually do business in Orlando, but you can sort of see that everybody within this 10 miles of Windermere is going to see this. Now you might want to bracket a minimum age. Right. Especially when you're when you're looking for home owners. But in this case, you're looking for home buyers and maybe 25 is, is a good price. Right. You can do more detailed targeting. I will tell you this. I don't do it, but I know that people in Florida will target people in other states because people in other states often like to buy homes in warm areas like Florida. OK, I don't know how to do it. I know that there are people who do. It's just that is where you do it. Detailed targeting. Okay. 
And you could save this audience once you get it right, but let's go down and let's talk about placement. And this is really important. Placement is very important. The first option is mobile newsfeed. The second is Instagram, audience network, desktop newsfeed, and desktop right column. Mobile newsfeed means this is going to show up on smartphones and people are scrolling through phones. And because we're building brand, we want people to see that as much as possible. So definitely use mobile newsfeed. You don't always do it, but in this case, we are. We're building brand, we want it on mobile. Instagram, I'm gonna leave Instagram there. I don't really have a, a verdict or a lot of experience with Instagram. I am reading that people are building uh, you know, good networks and business off of Instagram. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with it, it is a photographic-based social media platform. And the nice thing about that is real estate really lends itself to, uh, to, to photography. There's a lot of great pictures. So if this is a nice home, yeah, maybe you wanna share it on Instagram. Audience network, no. Do not use this for any ads that you run, okay? If they sell your ad, they sell your little, your ad to other third-party applications that show up on smartphones. Those could be things like Candy Crush or, you know, I have a little, app that shuts down all the all the applications that are running in the back of my phone and i've actually seen a home value <laughs> ad pop up on that when i'm like trying to stop uh you know applications and it's just not relevant it's just not relevant at all so desktop news feed yes by all means desktop right column no okay and desktop right column no at any time so i'm going to jump over to Facebook, and hopefully this is, uh, uh, okay, I want you to see, oh great, X-Men. So I want you to understand what we just did, okay? This is the desktop newsfeed in the middle here, okay? This is the desktop right column. People do not need to be they do not look on the right column. They look right here in the center all the time. So when we're running that ad, we don't want it on the desktop right column. We always want it on the desktop newsfeed, okay? Now, budget. First of all, change your daily budget to a lifetime budget. And in this case, I'm gonna change my lifetime budget to 20 bucks, okay? And it's gonna start today and I wanna end it Oh, I guess it's it's punching out to June fifteenth. What what's the date today? The thirteenth. Okay, oh, sorry, went backwards. So I want to start it. Uh, oh, there you go. And I'm going to say I want this ad to end on Saturday. So imagine I'm running an open house on Saturday, right? Um, now it's telling me. Oh, you see this little red thing? I don't know if you can see it. It's a little red exclamation kind of thing, saying I've done something wrong. And it says minimum budget is five bucks a day. When you set an end date, it always punches you out one month. And so I, I really only want it to be four days. And now it's like, okay, 20 bucks, five bucks a day, we're good. Now, that's really the key is you want people to see this. And on Facebook, there's gonna be about, I don't know, 500 people a day. So that's a couple thousand people who are gonna see this, okay? And that's really the key. So for 20 bucks, a few thousand people are going to see this. I'm going to click continue. And this is the other important piece of it. You got to change your, you, you, right here, you can say, oh, I want to choose the, the page I'm going to put it on. You might have a few different business pages. And then remember, I'm going to copy this again, just in case. This is the page we want there. Paste in the website URL right here. When you paste it, it gives you a little blue bar. Click the blue bar and it pops it in there. And we'll give it a second. You'll see a little window spin over on the right. I don't know if you can see it, it's a little, uh, little wheel. And once it's done, the picture will show up on the right. And this is kind of what it looks like. This is a preview of what the ad's gonna look like, okay? There's something important here. Right now, I've got it sponsored by listings to leads. This is going to be sponsored by you, 
the realtor. So you have a business page that says, uh, you know, Lois the realtor or, or Susan, you know, when Orlando real estate, whatever your brand is, that's it. So for 20 bucks, a couple thousand people are going to start seeing that you are a realtor. Now, when we pasted that link in, you notice that it showed the photograph, right? But it also put some default language up here and down here. And that default language is not really powerful. And that's where you got to kind of think. And I want to say, and you got to think, and you got to change that. So it says, get the updated uh, current price now, right? And you might want to say something about this. You know, it's in an awesome neighborhood. Um, the, whatever the, the key selling points, um, you know, about this home. Uh, maybe it's, maybe it's, you've got a, it's, you know, an executive home or it's got a new granite kitchen, whatever it is, you know what the selling points are, put it in there and, and let people know, you know, click to get the full info, right? The point is you would like people to click this and what you don't want to do is use our generic information and just paste it up there and hope that somebody gets it, right? If there's something really compelling about this house, put it in there. Down here, it says, get the current price, photos, details, and more. You can actually control that by hitting it advanced options. Now, if you've got a property description on your MLS, that's a good place to paste it is right here because this allows for, I think, up to 200 characters. So it just gives people more and you want to make that interesting so that they, they'll click it, right? And, and that's really the key there. I will go over a couple things up here. Notice there are all these other sections that I just gloss over. Um, it is by default saying, give us a single image. But if you have different images and you want to have it kind of rotate on the, on the ad, like maybe you have a great picture of their kitchen and the living room, you could upload them. You can click this here and then upload those. But I'm just gonna leave it single image because that's the default, it's easy and it works. At this point, I can click place the order, okay? So here's the thing that we did. We created an ad that said, send people to my website. We set the budget. We targeted by the zip code or the town. And then we modified this language right here. And for that 20 bucks over four days, a couple thousand people are gonna see that you are a realtor and that you were associated to this property. And that's important for brand building. I recommend you do that at least once a week. We don't recommend that you run ads for 30 days at a time because things just start to get stale. So, you know, if you've got multiple listings, run one that's, hey, there's an open house this week, or this one just sold, or this is just listed, or this is active. Here's a virtual tour. You kind of get the idea. There are multiple statuses and that's what you want to get into the market. How do you change the listings to leads heading? Tay, thank you for the question. And guys, this is a good time for the questions because I'm about to end this piece. And right here, it says listings to leads mastermind group. And, and let me know, Tay, if that's what you're asking about. If it is, Right up here, it's it's saying, yeah, great, that is. So right up here, it says, what business page do you want to present on? And I'm on a few, right? I got something here about, you know, low-fat food and stuff like that. But this is where I want it to be. I want it to be on my business page, and I choose it, right? You're going to have yours, which is for your area, right? Now, that's kind of the key to that. So I'm going to do something here. We're finished with this one. Are there any questions for what you've seen so far? What we're talking about is building brand. You can do that with borrowed listings, but just put one of those two tools out. Put the single property website out, just like I did, or put these uh, the listing landing page out. Get it out there for a few bucks a day. I recommend you do it, you know, three or four days uh, every week because people, you know, if you think about it, for 80 bucks, where are you going to have, I don't know, five to 8,000 people start to see that you're a realtor? Really, I don't think there's another place you can do it. So that's how you build your brand. You get a couple of tools from here and you go out through there. So now I'm going to jump through. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of take a break. I'm going to jump out of this account, jump into my own, and we're going to build a page for Windermere. 
right? Because we just ran an ad in Windermere. So now if I'm running ads and I'm telling the market, hey, I'm a realtor, here's a home just listed, here's an open house, and I'm doing this in Windermere, well, that's a good time to now say, hey, I'd like to get some more listings in Windermere. And they can see I'm a realtor over there. So I log into my account and I go to the landing page section. And this is where we start working on that. Before I do that, I want to go, I want to go to, let's see here, um, our page. I want to go because if you're brand new to this, if you're brand new to Facebook advertising, it could look a little bit different. Okay. And, and, and that, and then you're kind of like, oh, okay. It doesn't look like what Vince was saying. And what you need to know is you need to have more than 25 people like your page and they give you that. But also if you've never run an ad before, sometimes it looks different. Facebook is always testing new stuff. So you may not be able to run an ad like that the first time. But what you could do is paste your link right here. I'm just going to copy this one. And go right to your business page and put it right on the wall and just say, hey, you know, here's an awesome new home. Put something, you know, conversational uh, and put some information, right? Here's an awesome new home on the market. Uh, new home on the market. And anybody with a business page can do this. You can do this on, this pers on your personal page too, but just so you know, Facebook, that's against the terms of uh, uh, conditions of use, terms of service, and they actually don't like that in on very rare occasions, very rare, I've only heard it twice, they'll actually shut down your Facebook account because you've been doing the wrong thing. You've been posting business on your personal page, okay? So then you just paste in the link, right? When you paste in the link, it says just listed and publish. I'm gonna see here. That doesn't look right. Usually it puts a big picture up there. But the point is once you get it up there, you can boost. And boost is another way of advertising. It's simpler. But it doesn't, um, and, and that might, you may need to do that the first time, okay? Because it needs to get your credit card in there and all that stuff. And so I have seen where people are like, oh, I don't have that view that you just had. And then they have it this way. And then from then on, they have the view that we just have. So now let's take a little, uh, we're going to go into, great, we've been doing, we've been running ads to build my brand on Facebook. Now I want to get some, some seller leads. Okay, you come to the landing page tab in your account. And because we're focused on Windermere right now, just type in the word Windermere in box number two. You could do this for any town. You could even do it for a subdivision. Um, it's a little harder to target for a subdivision on, on Facebook, but you, you might wanna do it anyway. You might do a postcard to a subdivision, right, and say, uh, let's say it's Belvedere is in Windermere, right? And, and you create a Belvedere page and you mail it to everybody in that Belvedere zip code. You could do that, right? So, um, but when we save that, there's a little message here that says we've created this successfully. From here, you now have a Windermere page under every one of these buttons, right? So I have a FISBO Windermere page at the bottom of my list, okay? And I could put this, you can find Fizbo's on Craigslist, you can find them on Zillow, you can even buy a list, but you could send this to them and say, hey, would you like some free tools? Let me help you do your marketing. You'll get, you'll probably get some leads and help them find a buyer, but many Fizbo's will hand a listing over to an agent. And if you're helping them with free marketing, that's gonna make it a little more likely that you are the agent, right? Uh, so let's go back. Somehow I lost my way here. There we go. Uh, there's also landing pages for expired. And then we've got over here, property valuation, property valuation one, plus one, and plus, and then landing pages for growing families, landing pages for empty nesters. So I want to kind of give you a little bit of the, uh, the vernacular of how we build these pages, okay? Property valuation plus was the first page that we created for prop for seller lead capture. And what it does is it just asks them first give you wait a second for this pop up. First give us your address. And then on the next page it says great. 
we will we'll get your evaluation. What's your contact information? And a lot of people walk away when you ask them for contact information, right? A lot of agents, they're happy for that. They're, they're like, great, I want to know just more addresses because I can find the, the contact info from somewhere else. Other agents are like, no, I, I don't want that. I, I want every lead has to come with an email. And if that's you, then you want to use any of these pages that say the word one in it. And that's because it's a one page lead capture, right? That means that on the first page, you have to give the address and the email, otherwise it will go nowhere. And that might sound awesome to you right now, but let me tell you, your lead gen is going to fall off a pretty steep cliff when you do that, okay? Because people just don't want to give that up. So my favorite, my favorite page is the property valuation plus. And plus means that you have a Zillow estimate at the back end. Again, I know that that's not the favorite for everybody, but because you can run an ad and say, hey, I can get your valuation right now, as long as you're competent to say, hey, they're not that accurate. And maybe, you know, does that number look right? Do you need, uh, do you, do you do any improvements? Do you think it's high, low, whatever? That's kind of it, right? So I have a Lafayette page and, and that's where I just moved from. And I wanna show you what I did to my page and show you how to do this, right? The default page looks like a generic street. And I don't know what Windermere looks like, but I can tell you, it, you know, it probably doesn't look like that. This is a little reservoir in Lafayette and everybody walks around. There's like a two and a half mile little walk here. So, you know, the people out there jogging, walking their dogs, they got their kids in their carriages, all that stuff. Everybody in Lafayette knows this. So if I'm gonna go and put something on Facebook and say, hey, would you like to know your home value? It makes people a lot more comfortable if they see something that they recognize, right? Um, and so I want you to think about that and I would really appreciate it if you could put in the chat panel right now some landmarks in Windermere. What is really cool? Is it downtown? Is there something, is there a bridge? Or That if I looked and I saw an ad, I would know that is that's that's my area. So if you can put that in chat panel, that's good. In the meantime, I'm going to show you. I set up a, 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 an office in in Summit, New Jersey, right? And I, you know, and so I talk to the I, we train the office like we're doing today. And um, the owner came back and said, Vince, we run this picture on the back of the property valuation plus ad and we get more leads with this than any other ad we do. And that's because this restaurant is on Main Street. It's one of those diners with the booths in there, you know, old school 1920s kind of train car. Um, everybody knows it, right? Everybody knows this in their town. Um, Bay Hill in Windermere, awesome, thank you. So you want something, and I'm just putting it up there because you can use your own ideas and just say, hey, I, I, I'm not sure, you know, so I'm gonna do a quick search on Bay Hill, Windermere, Florida. And you need to follow this one, guys. Main Street in Windermere. Okay, well, let's look at Bay Hill and then we'll do Main Street. We'll just look, we'll just see what we get here. Do the search and click on images. And this shows us a lot of images. Now these images are of homes, okay? And when you're running a property valuation, it's in Orlando. Okay, so I'm gonna do Main Street, <laughs> Windermere. Um, and let me just say, you don't want to do a picture of, of a particular home, but for some reason we keep getting that kind of stuff. You really want downtown. This kind of thing here of a map can work. I'm gonna put downtown Windermere, see what we get. Yeah, this kind of is getting there, right? This is kind of getting there. Uh, you don't want you don't want Lake Butler, Windermere. What's this? Islesworth. Let's. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do Lake Butler, Windermere, Florida. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So I'm just going to use this. Oh, that's a YouTube, so we can't go there. 
uh, let's, we're just going to do it. Um, well, first of all, I got to do this the right way. Once you've done that search, there's a box here that says search tools. Click that. Yeah, the one with sunset. We'll, we'll try, but follow these steps here. Search tools, go on size, go to larger than, and do 4MP. This shows you the pictures that, you, that actually fit on the page. One more thing, usage rights, labeled for reuse. You don't want somebody calling you and saying you're, you know, impinging on their copyright, right? So over here, I've got a page here. It's on Wikipedia. Click on it and view the image. And right click, we're just gonna use this one, guys, okay? Uh, desktop, I'm gonna say one Windermere. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. And let's go, just to remind you where we are, we're on the landing page section property valuation plus one at the very bottom is my windermere page okay and i'm going to click edit this time and i'm going to click this button and upload that photo so let's do that and let's just see how that works hopefully it's not too big but we'll, we'll see it in a second That was 4,000 pixels wide. 2,000 pixels wide is actually just fine. And I see it coming up, so it seems like we're good. Now, you can do, you you know, I, I kind of want to speak to you is, you know, you got to see, you, you got to kind of know what kind of agent you are. There are a lot of agents that when they come to a page like this, they read every little thing and get distracted by every little thing that's on here. There is a lot of cool stuff here. But what I'm trying to do is get you out and get some leads now. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I will show you how to get that photo one more time, everybody. We'll do that one more time, but let's focus right now on the only two things I want you to really change up front. The background picture, I'll show you how to get it one more time, and this line right here. What is your home worth now? Leave it there. The second line says, get your answer here. Change this to get your answer in less than 15 seconds. That's something that I think is really good language to use. And I'm gonna save that at the bottom, and then I'm gonna click on View Standard, okay? And here's a picture of the home, and it looks nice, and it says, what is your Windermere home worth now, right? Um, I, I prefer that you don't use homes like this. This is a pretty looking picture, but not every home looks like this. So it kind of excludes people if their home doesn't, doesn't look like that. So how did we do that, right? We just did that. I think we said, um, I think we said downtown Windermere, Florida. We clicked on images. We clicked on search tools. We clicked on size. We went to larger than 4MP. We clicked on usage rights, labeled for reuse. And we then said, yeah, that's that's what I want. I, I like this kind of thing, right? Because you might, you might very well know this. This may stand out and this is a good kind of thing. So you just click on view and then you right click and you save the image on your desktop. And then you pop it into the page when you're ready, okay? Is everybody clear on how we did that? We clicked on landing pages. We typed in Windermere here. We saved it. It created a Windermere page under every one of these. We went to property valuation plus, went down to the bottom, we edited it. We changed it to get your answer in less than 15 seconds and we put a photo in the background, okay? So at that point, we've got a really awesome tool to get a lead, to get home values, to people, in, people interested, and getting the value of the home. So let me show you how this works, okay? And you should understand this. 1595 Huston Road. This is the only address I know off the top of my head in Lafayette. This is where I'm from. And 
But when you do it, it sort of has like, it, it can see where you're sitting and it shows you the local streets. And this is what it does. I've got a little partial lead right here. I don't know if you can see it. I got an email lead already because I'm the agent and I just got a lead with the address, okay? Me as the consumer, I'm looking at a picture of my house right there. And on the left, it says, hey, please verify this. Is this right? Three bedroom, two bath? I say, yes, that's correct. We do this for buy-in because the next page is like, great. We've got your valuation. You just confirmed that's the house. We've got it. So we need that buy-in so that we can get them to give us the contact information. Why are you, I just, why are you interested? Uh, I need to sell soon. Maybe I need a refine. Thinking about selling, right? When you click that, it takes us or it takes the consumer to this page. It says, here's your high and low and there's a the last sale price, et cetera, et cetera. Here's other sales in your local area. And then here's your contact information. I don't know if you can see it. I got another lead because now I have the contact information. Down here in the signature bar, I've got links here that say Lafayette Homes for Sale. What is your home worth? Search all homes. So there's just lead capture built all through this, okay? So that's how this page works. And I want to show you one more thing, then we're gonna run an ad again. I think we clicked on this Windermere one. Nope, we clicked on the last one. And then over here, I got a lead. I don't know if you could see that. I got another lead as the consumer, which was an auto response from me, the agent. And that said, um, hey, you know, if you're thinking of, you know, doing this, let, let's meet and blah, blah, blah. So it's just an auto response. And that's the first thing. You should try to reach out to them as soon as you can. So I do want to point out, because this is something that realtors see and then they kind of work for them. It doesn't. I clicked on the standard view. There's also a location autofill. And I want to click on view and show you what that is. This used to get agents very excited. It doesn't excite me because it seems a little bit, what's the word now? Creepy, right? It's saying, hey, do you want to allow this to track your, your stuff? Yes or no. And people don't like that, you know, privacy concerns and stuff like that. So they may just say no. If they say no, all they got to do is type in the stuff. But you could just use the standard one and it looks just like this, okay? Other agents think it's really groovy because you can just snap somebody's address in there. And so that's just your choice. I just want you to know how you do that, okay? But that being said, I'm gonna close this one because it does say autofill and I don't want autofill. I'm gonna click on the standard view and we're gonna go run another ad. This ad is slightly different. And so you do need to understand the difference of building branding and getting seller leads. So please follow closely on this. I'll move a little bit faster and I'll point out the differences. First of all, copy the link, okay? Secondly, go back to Facebook. Click on create an ad. You won't see this. You will see something like this. Send people to your website. And campaign name, web clicks, no, I'm going to call it uh, home value. What is that area? Windermere. June. Because, you know, you should run a home value ad at least once or twice a month. Okay. And you want to know, like, when, if you started in June, how are my results in June compared to July and August? If you're doing this consistently, your results are going to improve. Click continue. And here's where the difference begins. Okay. There are a couple key differences here. Last time we typed in Windermere. And you could do that. You could type in Windermere. Some people put in the zip code. And now I don't know if there's multiple zip codes for Windermere. But you get a, bit, a better pay-per-click rate if you do it by zip code as opposed to Windermere. So we won't wait. I'm just going to type in the word Windermere, Florida. And remember how it pops us out to 25 miles? Nope. We only want the current city. 
That means that these people have to live in Windermere to see this, okay? And that makes sense because this page only speaks to Windermere. It doesn't speak to anybody living outside of Windermere. So I just want them to live in Windermere, okay? Now, to own a home, you got to use your judgment on this one. I'm just going to say nobody younger than 29 owns a home in Windermere. Maybe they do, but you don't want a bunch of 29-year-olds clicking on this stuff, stuff like that. Um, big difference here. Placement. Mobile news feed, no. Now, after a while, you might start to do that, but you got to remember, there's multiple pages on that web page to get that seller lead. And they've got to do it on, on, on a smartphone. It is mobile optimized, but do people really want to go through multiple pages on a smartphone? I don't know if they do, but we do have a lot of people co come back on our, on our mastermind group and they say, hey, you know, I got a bunch of clicks on mobile, but I'm not getting any leads. And it, it is, I think it's because of what I'm just describing to you. Do people really want to do that, right? And so build your brand with mobile, but don't try to get seller leads with mobile. Also, don't use Instagram to get seller leads. Also, don't you use the desktop right column. Just that center news feed on the desktop, that's gonna be the best placement for you to put this kind of ad. Daily budget. Pay a close attention here, change it to lifetime budget. It pushes you to 350 bucks. Change it to 60, okay? You gotta kind of watch this piece right here, guys. Start it on Friday. End it on Monday. Oh, still giving me a red signal, why? Because it pushed me out one month. No, nothing wrong now, okay? And I'm gonna spend a maximum of 60 bucks. And how many people are gonna see this? Between 1,000 and 3,000. So let's just say 2,000 people are gonna see this ad and they're gonna see that over three days, okay? That's a great thing because as you do this, remember, as I said, you compare June to July and August, People start seeing your, your ad that you're a realtor over and over. They see you've got homes open house. They see you've got homes just closed, just listed. And they start to recognize this person is a realtor. And now on the weekends, when I'm sitting around, I got time off and I'm watching the game. Hey, I can find out, you know, this person that's selling homes. I can now get my home value. Boom. That's, that's really what it's all about. Click continue. Selling, correct. Selling ads, 20 bucks a day. Please also note that I said Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I recommend that you start Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You can later on test it, do some A-B testing, say, hey, do I, do I get leads during the week on that? I, you know, I talk to a lot of people and we both, Scott and I talk to a lot of people and we, and we get a lot of feedback. And whenever they're not really getting what they're expecting, I tell them, do your seller leads on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, put 20 bucks a day. Right, 60 bucks, lifetime budget. That's when they start getting the hits they want. And then you can start turning the knobs after that, right? So again, choose the business page. These are, not, uh, hold on a second, that's a good question. Are these minimums? Choose your business page. $5 a day is actually a minimum for Facebook. So you could run a seller ad for five bucks a day, but you won't get much visibility and you won't get many clicks because it's just, it's five as opposed to 20. Okay, there's, it's a pay per click, meaning for every dollar, you're gonna get a certain number of clicks. So if you put in five bucks, you're not gonna get that many clicks, but you can certainly build brand, right? So five bucks a day minimum, run those ads three or four days at a time, run your three day, you know, and you don't have to do it every weekend to get seller leads. Maybe you do it one weekend or, or two. If we've had clients have to turn these ads off because they start getting so many leads. So that may not be you this, you know, the first time you start doing it, but you'll learn to throttle it back and, and, and you know, just sort of like measure it. Um, so here, the website URL, we want to copy this link again. And back on the page, it says, paste it here. It shows you the link and you got to give it a second. It, it will actually, um, push that picture in there. 
And there's that lovely generic kind of language there. Find out your home value now, right? Um, we do not like that. And, and we know that when people do this, they get really low results. So there are a couple of things. This is the easiest one that I want to tell you, and I'll give you a couple more ideas. Click here to get your online automated home value in less than 15 seconds. You saw me do that earlier, right? In the, in, in the actual page. And there's something about this uh, that, that works for many people. And it namely is that they don't have to speak to you to get what they want. They can just get that answer right there. And you're just telling them, click here and in 15 seconds you're done, right? And that's like, oh, okay, I'll do that, right? And, and I'm okay with that. Um, the rest you can kind of leave it. It's, you know, it's not too much down here below. Some other ideas that work that seem to work really well is um, people will put a picture of a house and they'll say, hey, you, this home sold uh, for 10% above asking, right? You got to do this when it's when it's truthful, of course. Uh, click here to get your home value now. Uh, this home was in contract in less than seven days. Uh, find out your home value now, right? What is it that motivates people? You probably know that a little bit better than I do. Use that kind of language. Remember, a, a pretty picture actually is a is a very big leverage point. A not so colorful picture will not slow somebody's eye down. The next thing is the language. Is it really compelling for me to click now to get an answer? So think about that when you're writing that, okay? Then place the order and that's it. At the end of these ads, Facebook will give you the results. They'll say, you got this much reach and you got this many click-throughs, okay? Now reach, just so you know, is like, this is how many people actually saw it. It buzzed through their page, right? 3,000, 5,000, something like that. Clicks is meant that they looked at the ad and they clicked it. So you might see yourself get like 100 clicks, right? And then it's like, well, then you know the leads that you're getting because we're sending you the leads, right? And that, those are the three things that you wanna measure. Your reach is not so important, but if your reach is, is good, but your clicks are really weak, that means two things can be wrong. The photo is wrong, not compelling, doesn't slow down my eye, or the language that I put there is not really that strong. And that these are two things that you can control. So, you know, take advantage of that. Now I'm gonna, um, are there any questions on what we just did there? We talked about how to run a seller ad, how to get listing leads. Anything I need to go over? Okay, kind of got that. So I wanna point out one thing before I let you go. And it has, because of Facebook. When you log in, there is a page here that says click to join our mastermind group please join that mastermind group and go there because I, I, every day somebody is putting what they're doing in our mastermind group. They're using our tools and they say, hey, I ran an ad that looks like this and I'm getting a bunch of leads or I'm not getting a bunch of leads or whatever. But you, you know, the easy thing I can tell you about running ads on Facebook is what I've shown you. It's copy and paste. The more difficult thing, and it's not like, you know, rocket science, but it's like you got to use the right language or the right idea to get people to click that. And you don't want to sit there and noodle on that and like think of that for an hour or even 30 minutes. So come here and sort of scan on what's going on and what people are doing. Um, I got somebody that's got a question. Can you unmute my phone? Let me look at that. Let me look at that. Let me look. Um, I think I sent a pin. Yeah, Susan. Hey, Susan. It says um, audio pin sent. So I think that should unmute you. 
if you'd like, if you've got a phone handy, you can dial my, my cell number. I've got it right here. If that pin doesn't get to you, I don't know. Uh, and everybody, my cell number, I think, Susan, is if you don't have it, is 415-948-7578. Um, let me know if, uh, let's see here. Let's see if I have questions. And, and anybody else, if you have questions right now, um, let me let me know. Okay, let's see here, Susan. I'm gonna put my number here, Susan. You can dial that cell number, and then I, it's sitting right next to me, and I can pick that up too, and we'll we'll kind of take care of that question if you don't have a way of getting. Because I have it. Yeah, I'm trying to. I've unmuted you, but I think there's something you need to do. I think you need to press in a code on the phone to be able to speak. So the mastermind group, there are a lot of things. I, and I know we went on a call. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I see your question. Coming soon ads. Is there a way to enter just minimum data to create? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if, you're, if your MLS allows you to run com coming soon ads, go to your listings page. Click right here on the top left. It says create new listings. Oh, your MLS. Uh, so your MLS doesn't allow it meaning you can't put it in the MLS, can you still run an ad on Facebook with coming soon without getting dinged? Susan, that's a question to you. If you can, um, put the ad, you just create it right here. Um, and then you save it. And once you save it, and it's minimal information. I mean, literally, you need like five fields here and just say, hey, we're going to have more coming soon, blah, blah, blah. Um, all the two, once you save it and you can just do a photo with a, with a smartphone and, and put it on the next page. Well, that listing is going to be right here, right? It's going to be on the listings page. And then those tools, a single property website and the listing landing page are going to be there available. So Susan, oh, sure. Yes, yes. Got it. Got it. Okay. So yeah, I've, so you can't put it in the MLS, but you can run ads. Listen, you guys know how tight inventory is. So um, being able to say for three or four days, this is not on the MLS. I want everybody within 10 miles of Windermere or Orlando to see this. I think that's, that's a really great kind of ad to run. I, it really is. So yeah, there is a create new listing button right there. Put in a couple data points that you need there to get that in there. Get a, one photo of the front. Just take a picture of the front of the, of the, of the house with your phone. Uh, and then say more pictures to come fill this, you know, come here to sign up to, we'll, we'll schedule a, you know, a, a meeting right away and because you want to get a buyer. Certainly you want to sell a home, but boy, it's great to have a database of people ready to buy. Right. So, um, are there any other questions for you? Um, happy to answer anything. I will point out a couple things while I'm waiting for questions, contact support right here, right in this box, everybody watches every question that comes through here. So if you need fast answers, don't, you know, if you're stuck and you're like poking around, don't do that. Don't, don't waste that time. Just put your question right here. We got four people watching that. Um, what's the total number of landing pages available? Good question. If you click on landing pages, you'll notice that there's a bunch of landing pages. These are all available. If you click down here, there's even more landing pages. I'm not really too crazy about these, but they are there. Um, you have unlimited landing pages in all of these areas. Okay. So you could have five or six landing pages for property valuation and you really should, right? Um, that, that's what we do. Unlimited landing pages for expireds, things like that for, for FISBOs. You should, you know, you're probably building your business in two or three towns, two or three neighborhoods, things like that. You should have landing pages for all of those. OK, and use them because I'll tell you, you know, I've been working with Susan to get this thing up. One landing page like this, this property valuation page right here. One, if you go out and buy it, starts at $60 a month, just one. OK, you've got unlimited and you can build your business in many ways, in many areas. 
So definitely take advantage of this. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this recording up online, look at it again. Also back in listings to leads, couple of areas. If you go to Facebook, uh, if you go to the landing page, Facebook Advertising 101 talks about just what we're talking about here. Lots of great ideas. Um, so if you want to learn more about Facebook, go there. Otherwise, go to your homepage. Click on Facebook Advertising. There's a little video here that talks about just these kind of pages and how to create them. It's shorter. It's 10 minutes. So that's going to help you. Um, Right here is a link that shows you how to run an ad in under 10 minutes. You've seen me do it twice, but you may forget that. And you just want to see there and get step-by-step -step instructions right here. This is all underneath the Facebook advertising stuff. So yes, Susan, I am going to get this up online. I'll get it online today and I'm going to get this video to you. Um, and then of course, please share it with your team. Uh, everybody, I don't see any more questions. So I really want to thank you for, for being here and for your questions. Uh, lean on this it is like like i said it is the place where everyone is right now and i hear from a lot of people i'll tell you because i talk to a lot of people people are like oh i think facebook is played out right uh it is not played out it is not over i got clients starting up all the time that are applying what i just showed you and they are getting results like right now right so don't be afraid of that don't talk yourself out of that if you find a place where adults are sitting around for 40 minutes a day, please let me know, right? Because it's not Google, it's Facebook. And uh, we just appreciate your time and of course your business. So everybody, have a great day. Good luck with all this. Lean on our support center. We're always happy to help. Um, and have a good day. Thanks everybody.